It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. It's been a day, we gonna get wavy later. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a collaboration with some other smaller YouTubers. Um, what we're doing is basically making ourselves feel better, doing a bit of a a glow up, shall I say, um, as though we were going out on a, a night out. So not actually going anywhere, but um, going to make myself look like I am. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, so if basically if that's something that you fancy watching, then uh, please stay tuned. Right, okay, so um, hair out my face. So the first thing I'm going to do, because uh, I want to look uh, fresh, is um, put on a illuminating primer. So this one is by AOA and this is the Wonder Skin Primer. I love this stuff, it's blooming brilliant. And I think it was only about a quid, if, if not less actually, 83p maybe. So I'm gonna pop some on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's quite, quite a nice glowy primer. So I'm gonna start off by just Popping that on. I have already moisturised my face, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. The rest there. And I just use my fingers just to rub it in. There we are. So as you can see, it gives you quite a nice uh, dewy base to work on, which I love. I'm much, a much bigger fan of a dewy base than a matte base. I just think for me, matte foundations, uh, a, matte, a matte base, too much powder just, just ages me. So uh, I don't really want that. So uh, yeah, I like it to be dewy. Right, so next I am gonna go on with foundation. And I'm gonna be going in with the IT CC Plus Illumination Foundation by IT Cosmetics. I've actually broken the uh, the pump on this, which is handy. So I'm just gonna take it out of the tube, but this is in the shade light as well. So again, oops, I'm just gonna pop. I've got kind of that much, might actually be too much to be honest, but it wasn't intentional. I'm gonna pop that on. I'm gonna start off with a brush and a mirror. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pat that into the skin. Okay, so there is the foundation on. I really like this foundation actually. I like the um, the dewiness that it gives you and it seems to go on really well. And for a CC cream, normally they're quite sheer, but that one's got a really good coverage. So yeah, big thumbs up from, uh, from me for that one. So the next thing I'm going to do is concealer, so I'm going to use two concealers, the Iconic London Seamless Concealer and this is in the shade Natural Beige and the Instant Anti-Age Eraser and this is in the, in the shade Sand. So this one under my eyes and this one on the high points of my face. So I'm going to go in with this one first. Little, uh, little friends there as well, so I've just put some on there. My skin's atrocious lately. I think it's um, possibly time of the month is coming. Um, but I tell you what, I don't know about you, but since wearing a face mask all the time as well, I seem to have like this part of my face. I've had quite a few breakouts, and I don't normally get that. Cups all over the floor and your friends passed out sleeping in that bed you wanted us right okay and then under the eyes give this bad boy and you chose not to invite me yeah actually while I'm at it I'm gonna um prime my eyelids as well so I'm gonna be using the P Louise uh, 0 0.5 rumor a little of this goes a very long way so, pop some of that on as well. There we go. And then 
I'm just going to set that into place with some translucent setting powder and for that I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil. Like that and then I am just going to I leave the powder here because I find it easier to blend my contour bronzer etc at the end um, but I'm just gonna dust off the, the rest fantastic right then so next thing I am gonna do I think I might actually do my eyes next just in case I get any fallout and then it's less to clean up if I do. So I'm going to do my brows first. I'm just going to give them a little brush to start off with. Okie dokie. And then for brow products, I am going to be going in with this brow pencil from She Glam. And this is, I think this is just in the shade brown. I think it's just called brown. Oops. Uncross my legs. And the 24 hour, bra 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. So I'm going to use the pencil first. Text me when you get here. You made it so clear. I'm going to go on with eyes. Right, so for eyes, I'm actually going to be working from a new palette. Um, I showed this in my Superdrug haul. I'll link it above. Um, this is the Revolution Tammy X palette. This is the Tropical Carnival shadow palette one. So it's got some really lovely bright colours in there. So I thought we would um, use that one today if I can actually get it open. There we go. Take the plastic off. So, got those ones. So, what I'm actually thinking is quite a nice, like, um, almost like a purpley look. So, with that in mind, might even go for a, a bit of a, a cut crease as well. So, right through my crease and just above, I think I'm going to be using this kind of like mauvey shade just here. You said. A really nice product to work with blends really really nicely i'm gonna go just above as well like that it's really pretty color and then just with a clean brush i'm just gonna um neaten up that edge room 21 10 what i come here for i wanted to talk but you kept like that then on yeah on the outer corner i am going to use i'm going to go in with this purpley shade in the bottom corner Probably going to uh, darken that up a little bit at the end as well because now I've blended it, it's kind of merged in with that other colour more than I'd like, but it's still pretty. But um, yeah, but as I said, I'm going to do a bit of a cut crease. So, what I'm going to do next is just take my P. Louise base again and just map out a crease in there. And for that, I'm just going to use this little brush from P. Louise. like that then while that sets what I'm gonna do is go and just do the same I've done so far on this eye on this eye and then I'll be back right, okay so that's that done and the concealer well base is now set so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in 
with do I have to do this dark purple or this light shimmery purple? So I'm torn between this one and this one. On camera they actually look quite similar, but this one's quite a lot darker. I'm gonna go in with the dark one. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm going in with this one here in the middle. I'm gonna be using this brush again from P. Louise. I'm gonna start off with a dry brush and see how it goes on. It's just anyway. Right, so I'm gonna pack this on. Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you Oh, I wanted an explanation Red solo Do you know what, as much as I love the colour It's not giving me the, the shimmer that I was hoping for it Actually looks quite matte on the lid I think I might just add a little bit of shimmer into it as well yeah, well, before I do that, I'm just going to deepen up that corner. So I'm going back in with that purpley shade that I originally used. You said, text me when you get here. You made it so clear. It'd be nothing more than nothing goes on the Okay. Right, so I'm going to find a shimmer and then we'll pop that on as well. Right, I'm going to try this one. So this is Pearl by Peaches and Cream. So it's like an iridescent powder. So it should reflect off whatever colour is underneath. So it looks white in the pot, but it's actually showing on my hand. It's like that. But then, I shall show you here. When you swatch it, you can't really see it on the camera, but it goes like um, a, an iridescent, almost like a highlighter. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to just wet my brush first. I'm going to go with this one. Hope this works. No product, just blending. Right, so can I say no fallout either? And underneath, I think I'm going to take that colour I used on the Reese. So I'm going to put that maybe shade there. So I'm going to go in with that one. Oh, on a pencil brush. Cute. Right. Okay. So yeah i think we're all good for now so what i'm going to do is repeat that on the other eye do a little clean up and then i will be back okay so there we go so next i'm going to go in with mascara another new product is this um l'oreal lash paradise mascara this is in intense black so i'm going to give this a go i've heard really good things about this so uh we'll see what it's like Right, so I'm going to pop some of this on. That's actually really quite good. It really grabs your lashes, that brush. Um, that is just one coat. I'm only putting one coat on today because I'm doing um, falsies. But yeah, that's really nice. I like that. So I'll whack that on the other eye and the bottom lashes as well. Fantastic. So there we go. As I say, just one coat. But yeah, it's quite good for one coat actually. Yeah, good mascara. So the next thing I'm going to do is 
I'm going to put some lashes on as I say so I'm going to glue those up now and then we'll, while the glue's drying we'll do the rest of my base okay so that's them drying so for contour I'm going to go in with the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Slil this is actually a bronzer but it works really nice as a, a contour as well I'm just going to go And then for bronzer, I'm going to use the Revolution Long Weekend Bronzer. Yeah, that's actually the shade name, Long Weekend. But yeah, that's messy. Right, I'm going to pop that on, yeah, most of my face, to be honest. Okay. Then for blush, I'm going to be using this um, AOA Perfect Blush in the shade Darling. Got hair in my eye. Text me when you get here. You made it so and then for highlight, I'm going to be using the Ofra Rodeo Drive. And then before my lashes dry too much, I'm just going to pop those on. Right, change of plan. I have, um, I've literally just given myself a lash lift and they're like really like up at the moment. They haven't quite settled. So the lashes aren't going on because obviously the, my lashes are, are pushing them off. So... We're just, we're just stick to mascara, so I'm going to pop another coat or two on of mascara instead. Right, okay, so that'll have to do. It didn't go on quite as nice as uh, it normally would because um, there was a bit of glue on my lashes, but it is what it is. It will do. Right, so I'm just going to set my face with my favourite, which is the Iconic Setting Spray. And then we're just going to finish off with lips. So for lips, I'm going to be using a combo of this lip liner, which is Toffee by Primark. Pop that on. And I'm going to be going in with Velvet Touch Lipstick, also by Primark. And then I'm just going to go over with this um, I Heart Revolution Lip Topper. It's just, again, it's just a iridescent sort of shimmer. Right, so I'm just going to sort out my hair and I'll be back. Right, okay, so there is the look completed. Uh, to be honest, I probably would just wear my hair like this as well because, yeah, I quite like it just like this and it's always tucked behind my ears. But, yeah, so there you go. What do you think? I quite like the, the purple on the eyes, actually. It's kind of... You can never see a cut crease very clearly on my eyes because they're nicely hooded, which is great. Um, but, yeah, it is quite a nice combination. Really like that palette really really good to work with really blendable and yeah the colors were just really really nice and pigmented so definitely recommend that as well and the mascara that was good too but yeah so there we go as i say this is a collaboration so i will list all the other girls links below so you can go and check out their videos as well and apart from that thanks for watching so i hope to see you again soon thank you bye Text me when you get here.